Step into the hidden realm of football, my curious friends, where secrets are whispered and strategies are hatched. Have you ever noticed those cheeky footballers covering their mouths while talking on the field? It's not just a fashion statement or a bizarre habit, oh no. There's a juicy secret behind this mysterious gesture that will make you feel like a detective in a thrilling spy movie. Get ready to unlock the truth behind why these players guard their conversations like a precious treasure. Starting with, ah, the media. Can be both a player's best friend and their worst nightmare. When you're a superstar like Ronaldo or Messi, you can't even have a simple chat without being bombarded by a battalion of cameras and prying eyes. And let's not forget those talented lip readers who can decipher every word turning a private conversation into front page news. Take the case of Didier Deschamps, the French football legend. After his team triumphed in Euro 2000, he had a heart-to-heart -heart with the head coach Roger Lemaire about retiring from the game. Little did they know the cameras were rolling, capturing every precious word, and you can bet those lip readers didn't waste a second before revealing Deschamps' secret to the world. But it doesn't end there. Can you believe that during the World Cup, poor Roy Hodgson had to face a lip-reading blogger who threatened to expose every single word he uttered on the bench? Talk about invasion of privacy, no wonder players are becoming more cautious by the day. So to protect themselves from the prying eyes and eager ears of the media, these clever athletes resort to a simple yet effective trick, covering their mouths while talking. The second reason is strategy. Imagine you're standing over a free kick, the crowd on the edge of their seats and your team huddled together, planning your next move. That's why players have mastered the art of covert communication, employing the trusty hand-over-mouth technique. During those crucial moments, like a dangerous free kick, they gather behind closed lips to discuss who's taking the shot. It's like a secret mission unfolding right before our eyes. You see, if the other team catches wind of your plans, like hearing someone shout, Hey Messi, you have the best angle, go for it! they'll have the upper hand. They can swiftly relay that information to the goalkeeper, leaving you with the diminished chance of scoring. But it's not just the players who play this game of secrecy. Managers are equally crafty when it comes to sharing their strategies mid-game. Imagine the scene, a tense match, the clock ticking away, and the manager approaching a player on the field. They lean in, covering their mouths as they disclose their top secret plan, switching the formation to a 5-3-2 and parking the bus a strategic move that must be kept hidden. While strategy and covering the mouth is a deadly combo, another reason why players employ mouth-hiding tactics is saying vulgarities or slurs. You see, the world is brimming with individuals who harbour a liking for saying unspeakable things, and let's be honest, we're all guilty of the occasional slip-up, dropping an F-bomb or two in moments of frustration. It happens, it's human nature. But during a game of football with so many cameras on you, you want to be rather more cautious. So how to maintain your image while venting your emotions? The answer lies in a simple act, covering your mouth. But there exists a much more sinister side to this phenomenon. Remember the case of Slavia Prague defender Andrzej Kudela? He faced a 10-match ban from UEFA for his racist behaviour towards Rangers midfielder Glenn Kamara. In an attempt to conceal the gravity of his words, Kudela resorted to covering his mouth, obscuring the evidence of his degrading and vile slurs. This despicable action sparked a fiery debate with the renowned manager and football legend Clarence Seedorf suggesting that players should face consequences for covering their mouths during conversations on the field. Lastly, the thunderous sound of a packed football stadium can make communication a daunting task. Hallowed grounds like the iconic Old Trafford, Santiago Bernabeu and Camp Nou have witnessed moments of sheer passion that can make the eardrums tremble. Scientists believe that as the noise levels reach 130 decibels in the stadium, the conditions can become deafening. So under such circumstances, players use their hands to make sure that their message cuts through the noise and reaches its intended recipient. So there you have it. Those were the sneaky, strategic and sometimes even mischievous reasons why footballers often cover their mouths while talking. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.